You're listening to the Family of Tegeta podcast. A message from Akatu. The BKI, Souls of Joy. Beloved friends of Earth, as you have heard often, the Earth is much like a school. There are ups and downs with many lessons learned. Many awaken to understand the purpose of their journey. Others remain stubborn and unwilling to leave the ego construct and rise in light with a depth of knowing the true self. In this state of being, there is peace and joy. In this communication, we will discuss a race of beings that exist in a frequency of ecstatic joy. For those on Earth, this would not be possible and would sound to be quite exhausting. But to these souls, nothing has changed since their first expression was in a feeling of bliss and joy that never left. This is far more intense than the higher realms you know about. This might sound unusual in your thinking and judgment. Allow your mind to open as you imagine these beings of joy called BKI. The home of these souls is called BIW by Pleiadians that have visited. Arriving in motherships, they were greeted with music and dancing. Smiles were exchanged as Pleiadians were quite amused and yet pleased to meet such a happy group. The BKI were created from spirit expression following creations of Elohim. Their existence was unknown and discovered by the light forces on a powerful mission. Friendships were established and visits have continued. The BKI stand five to six feet tall. They are very human-like in appearance with light tan skin and blue eyes. They wear wraps of flowers and vines. Nudity is accepted and there is no crime or war. The BKI live approximately 900 years and incarnate back into their own race. One of the great differences in these souls and those in the Pleiades is their limited concept of life. They have no expressions of meal preparation, art, or homes. They live in mountainous regions with their children and many animals. There are plentiful plants and many types of fruit that are picked from the vine and consumed in this manner. There are no structures of homes as the BK. I do not feel the necessity to build. They sleep very little and rest on smooth rocks. Their particular energy is high and they never quite settle down. The major feature is noted with their love for dancing. Indeed, I do relate to this practice. However, I love many expressions of my soul with racing vehicular crafts, creating telepathy belts and flying with my father, Elder Ikai. I would find life rather boring with only one major expression. But I will confess that I have danced extensively on visits to BIW. Animals are similar to those on Earth, but there are fewer categories. There are white horses with wings that provide travel for those that choose to visit another. There are small animals that resemble dogs. These also have wings and settle into small colorful caverns within the mountains. The BKI dance and then dance more. They form large groups and move with precision. Their dances look choreographed by Earth's standards. You would be highly entertained to spend a day with such joy. They laugh and smile most all of the time. They speak very little, and everyone shares the same frequency. There is no movement for change as nothing is needed when you laugh or dance. The BKI have complete free will, but from their beginnings, the ego did not develop as you know it to be. They could have developed further with so many visits from Pleiadians. They understand the upgrades of bodies to circulate light. They will choose this as life moves forward. They smile as we share about the shift of the ages. This will be the moment they upgrade with souls from other stars and planets. The grand shift is the tipping point for many. Races throughout the cosmos will join you in a galactic civilization. The BKI will be one of your favorite groups. You might see me among them dancing. I wish you love.
I want only joy for you. Until then, dance in your hearts. I will meet you there. And Ikimaiya, I love you so. Akatu, 